Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the AP Calculus 2008 AB free response questions. So let's take a look at what we got here. Concert tickets went on sale at noon, t equals zero, and were sold out within nine hours. The number of people waiting in line to purchase tickets at a time t is modeled by a twice differentiable function L. So L is the number of people waiting in line. Values of L at times, different times are shown above. Using the data in the table, estimate the rate at which the people were waiting in line was changing at t equals 5.5. Show the computations lead your answer and indicate units of measures. So rate would be the L, the derivative at 5.5. And we're going to say that's about equal. So this is a slope, right? It's people per hour. 5.5 is, you know, um, 1.5, it's not quite halfway between here, but we're going to say the slope between here and here is our approximation, because um, that's the best data we have. So we're going to do 150 minus 126 over 7 minus 4, right? So this is like an approximate slope. Uh, it's a secant line slope. Uh, so this is uh, 24 divided by 3, and that's 8. 8 people per hour. Okay. B, use the trapezoidal sum with the three subintervals to estimate the average number of people waiting in line during the first four inter hours the tickets were on sale. So the average value is given by from 0 to 4, um, L of t dt over 4 minus 0. Right? This is sort of the standard, um, uh, standard average value. Now, um, to estimate this, this integral, we're going to use the trapezoid sum. Um, and so this area is sort of one half, um, the area of each trapezoid is one half, like if you think about it, let's think about it like here, like this is zero and this is one. Uh, I average f of x and I multiply it by the width. So this is about, about approximately equal to one times, like this width interval is one, times one half, and I average these two values, 156 plus 120 plus um, this interval is only uh, 2 times 1 half of 176 plus 156 plus uh, from 3 to 4 it's 1 times 1 half 126 plus 156 okay with three sub intervals so these are the three sub intervals so all of that is going to be divided by 4 okay so we're going to do 1, 5, 6, well, let me, oops, 6 plus 120 divided by 2 plus 1, 7, 6 plus 1, 5, 6. 2 times 1 is just 1, so let's leave that alone. 1, 2, 6 plus 1, 5, 6 divided by 2. So that's the sum, and now I divide all that by 4. So this is uh, equal to 152.75 people. So that's the average number of people. For 0 uh, less than or equal t less than or equal to 9, what is the fewest number of times in which L, the derivative, must equal to 0? And give a reason for your answer. Well, um, When must the derivative? So we're increasing, and then we're decreasing, and then we're increasing again, and then we're decreasing. So if you kind of see like, like we're going up, up and up, and then we're coming back down. So somewhere here and here, or here and here, there has to be at least one, one uh, derivative of zero, and that's, yeah. I don't know what's the justification. Um, the answer is going to be like this is going like if I if I kind of plot this, it's going up to 176, then it's coming down to 126, then up to 150, then down to 80, then down to zero. So I have to have at least one, two, three. Have at least three, at least three derivatives of zero. Right under under this, I could have more, but at least I have to have three. Um, and the reason I would give is by um, 
I guess if you calculated the slopes here, it goes from positive slope to negative slope to positive slope to negative slope. That means it has to gone through zero at those. So if I compute the slopes, this is a positive slope here and this interval, it's a positive slope here, it's a negative slope, positive slope, negative slope, negative slope, right? So all the sign changes indicate, so there are one, two, three, three sign changes. For L prime of T and because it's twice differentiable um, it means like it has to be continuous so L prime has to be continuous so if it goes from positive to negative it has to go through zero right because it's twice differentiable that means it's continue that's the first derivative has to be continuous otherwise the first derivative would not be differentiable okay the rate at which tickets are sold is modeled by this per hour based on the model how many tickets were sold by 3 p.m. to the nearest whole number um, to get the total number of tickets, I integrate I integrate from 0 to 3. Yeah. Because if this is the rate. So we're going to do math integral 550 x e to the negative x Yep. Integrate over x from 0 to 3. That equals 973 tickets. Okay, let's check our answers here. Um, 8 people per hour for A. Good. About 155.25 people. I had. I must have entered this in the calculator wrong. Got this one slightly wrong. I must have plugged this in. I, I hate entering the calculator in like this. I probably did type something in wrong. Um, at least three values. Or continuity, L oh, is a maximum valuable there. Oh, you could do continuity or mean value theorem. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I did mean value theorem. Even though I didn't explicitly say it, I did mean value theorem because I said L prime was continuous. And because L prime is continuous, if it changes signs, then it has to go through zero. That's that's what mean value theorem, or intermediate value theorem. Um, uh, 973 tickets. Yep. Okay, so I think we did pretty good on that. Maybe you could question if I put in enough wording in here on this explanation, but hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next uh, next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.